And now it's my honor to invite the lovely, intelligent, and talented Grace Kamau to the stage with the speech, Invest in Yourself. Invest in Yourself, Grace Kamau. Thank you so much, Bill Kaiser. That was a really great um, talk. One, it shows that investing in yourself, how it's important to become the leader that the world is serving for, as Bill Kaiser stated. Ladies and gentlemen, today I stand before you to share a journey that embodies the essence of the American dream, a journey filled with resilience, determination, and unwavering pursuit of one's passion. You see, my American dream began when I attended the United States International University in Nairobi, Kenya. Upon graduating, my inspiration turned towards pursuing a master's degree in the United States. I was certain that that dream was would come would become a reality, but I did not know how. My initial career, career venture included implementing biometric smart card systems in hospitals. The role demanded a profound understanding of integrations of these systems with various complex hospital systems. Realizing my limitations, I sought guidance and learned about the Certified Information Systems Auditor course, which would equip me with the knowledge I needed. Little did I know that this course would spark my enduring love for cybersecurity. One fateful day, while checking my email at a cyber cafe, I stumbled upon an offering, a chance to apply for a green card for free. Seizing the opportunity, I snapped the right photo and submitted my application. A year later, after completing my sister's studies, I received a letter from the Kentucky Consular Center informing me that I had won a green card. Excitement surged through me as I prepared to embark on my American adventure. I landed in Silver Spring, Maryland, full of anticipation. However, my initial job search yielded numerous rejections despite my qualifications. Determined to adapt, I delved into the world of medical coding, completing a course at Johns Hopkins. Even though my IT degree was already impressive, I persisted in my pursuit. Seeking a fresh start, I relocated to Boston, Massachusetts. I secured a position as a medical biller. Although it wasn't my ideal role, I continued applying myself. Eventually, I became an account manager at Athena Health. However, with US citizenship in hand, I pursued my dream further, obtaining my master's degree in cybersecurity. I shifted roles to become a NOC engineer, a network operations center engineer, but some something was amiss. The role didn't align with my ultimate goal. So I enrolled a full, to a full stack web development bootcamp, subsequently landing a job as a software engineer, yet my thirst for cybersecurity remained unquenched. Undeterred, I pursued the Certified Information Systems Manager certification and succeeded. Santander Bank welcomed me into their vulnerability management team in 2020. Amidst the challenges of the pandemic, I faced an unexpected layoff. However, I didn't dwell on adversity. I interviewed with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for a cybersecurity engineer role, and I succeeded in securing the position. But my story did not stop there. A chance encounter with Dr. Hasib's book, Bring In a Greatness Out, opened up my eyes to new possibilities. One big thing that changed my life was the fact that I, sh I saw myself as an introvert. That stopped me in pursuing a lot of opportunities because of the thought of myself as an introvert. And in the introduction of the book, Bring In a Greatness Out, Dr. Hasib delved into the idea that the reason that you're an introvert is because you have not taken as many risks. I said, hmm, this is a paradigm shift. I might as well pursue it and see what this will lead me. So I reached out to Dr. Hasib on LinkedIn, reached out to him. I, I, I explained how I had loved his book and how I wanted to lead my career to the next level. And he reviewed my resume. He talked to me. I dis discussed the book further, gave me ideas. From Dr. Hasib's conversation, I started pursuing my, my PhD and then secured an, a higher level role, a cybersecurity uh, specialist role in an energy company. And this began a new journey. 
when I started understanding this idea of personal branding, I came to realize that the idea has not to be about searching for a job. It's about the kind of person you bring into the job. And this is the beginning of my new journey. I'm exploring it. I'm finding ways to be a thought leader. I am still in the journey of finding myself and finding what kind of brand, what kind of, what type of things do I want to bring my voice into? Thank you for this new story, Dr. Hasib, that has started in my life. You have surely left the footprints on the sands of time and it has been easy for me to follow your footsteps.